What is going on everyone? Today we have a very special four part mini series on pharmacy informatics. And the footage you're about to watch is actually compiled from both the 2017 and 2018 ASHP mid-year from various informatics pharmacists. And we're gonna talk about four important topics today, uh, or at least four questions that are often asked. The first question is, what is the job market like for informatics pharmacists? The second is, what do you look for when hiring an informatics pharmacist? The third is, is a PGY2 in pharmacy informatics required? And number four, what tip or advice can you offer to students looking to pursue a career in pharmacy informatics? Now, before the footage rolls, I wanna say a big, big thank you to everyone that participated in this video. And with that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, the key things that I look for are um, someone who's uh, project uh, management oriented. Um, I think that they need to also be able to work uh, very well with uh, um, an interdisciplinary team, uh, not just clinically, but with um, IT personnel. And I think that <clears throat> I want somebody that grasps the big picture around healthcare and uh, specifically you know, pharmacy informatics with the med use cycle. So. Um, somebody that's driven to uh, improve productivity and optimize the workflows. I think if they have an eye for that and they can speak to some of those, that's, uh, you know, that's a big key when I'm looking to hire somebody. I think the, the most important quality is project management currently. As an informatics as pharmacist, you get involved with a lot of projects and being and having the, the mindset of project management. You don't need to be like certified or anything, but you need to be having that mindset, that experience and be able to, to take a project and work on it. You don't need to be the leader of the project, but you need to lead your section of the project and be able to go through the processes to make sure you're on time and doing everything. So I think that's one of the better qualities to have as an informaticist pharmacist. Other than that, I mean, you can learn a lot of the skill on the job. You don't need to learn coding or anything. You might be able to, it might be useful for you. It might be good for the job, but it's not. I, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, I don't know how to code. Well, you don't need to be a code to be a pharmacist, but you need to be good at time management, know your skills and how to apply them. And other, the other quality that you usually look for is knowing the operational side of the, of the workflow in the pharmacy and the hospital and healthcare in general. So when I'm hiring an informatics pharmacist right now, what I'd be looking for is experience in the field, if possible, or some type of education in the field. And there, there are organizations that offer health informatics certificates, and there's also some pharmacy informatics certificates. I would look for, for those type of certifications to prove competency and, and an interest and um, some applicable skills in it, like an analytics, or clinical decision support, or even um, education and training, which is a big part of the informatics now, is, is training other users to how to best use the pharmacy software for safe uh, and efficient medication use. Honestly, when we hire informatics pharmacists, the main thing we look for is personality and intelligence. We actually look to things like the SAT scores and ACT scores. The reason for that is we can teach a highly intelligent person to do just about anything. Uh, informatics training is good and it helps. Uh, but that's the main thing that we look for is the ability to learn. Yeah, yeah, I look for somebody who gets a lot of satisfaction out of solving problems. Somebody who derives their uh, workplace enthusiasm out of being challenged, out of starting their own work and finishing their own projects and, and problems and things like that. Um, especially want to look or stay away from people who really want to have a high patient contact or experience in like dealing with patients and that because you just don't get a lot of that in this field. Um, I especially look for somebody who has been trained in a PGY2 or somebody who has experience at an academic medical center. Um, you know, since I'm hiring for someone that's going to work in an academic, we have a residency program, we need somebody who's comfortable with teaching, comfortable with training. That doesn't mean that we don't hire from outside um, and other times like that, but I definitely start there and then work my way down other pathways. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the content, definitely hit the Impro RX button over to your left to subscribe and definitely check out more videos over here uh, to your right. Now, as always, if you have questions, comments, and even better, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, guys.